Yo, yo, what's up? And welcome to Can You Believe This? Season 3, Episode 1. We're here at my crib. I'm here with my partner right here. I have the director directing and filming. What we got today for our audience is a pancake, dry pancake battered fried chicken. You season it with pancake batter which is going to be dry and we're going to fry it up and it's okay to have some fried food once in a while we're not talking about every day don't get crazy don't get excited please do not comment below if it's going to be negative but we're going to eat good today you know what i'm saying let's dig in miami Woo! episode one season three baby 305 305 but still with the 917 all right, I'm very excited to share this special dish with you guys. I've been doing this for years. This is our dry pancake battered fried chicken. Now, we don't cook fried all the time, but once in a while, if you want it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, this is basically a very good piece of chicken, fried chicken to make. Now, guys, uh, you want to take chicken breasts, buy organic, guys. I cut these in, 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 in tender pieces, just like this. And, you, you know, you might have to pay a little bit more, but, you know, if you're going to eat meat, make sure it's the top quality meat and it's organic, okay? You don't want to get any deals. You're really not getting any deals in the long run. We want to start with uh, lime. Got this from my local senor down the street. He sells a bag of these for five bucks. Very good, very organic. I want to squeeze that in here. Right? Then, you want to move this around to make sure all the lime juice is distributed. Then I'm gonna start off with Italian seasoning and onion bits. Very important. Onion bits gives a texture, flavor, and that pop. So I'm gonna pour this into here and mix it all around. Right? I'm gonna keep on mixing it so this is uh, individually distributed. Remember, this has no salt yet. Once I have that in there, I'm gonna add my Caribbean special seasoning. Now, if you follow some of our episodes, you've seen the seasoning before, and you'll know what I'm exactly I'm putting this. This has all the salt and all the flavor that you need. Remember, you always have to make sure you put the right salt, but not a lot of salt. I usually put it in the fridge for a couple of hours, an hour, so the seasoning could absorb inside the meat. Take it out of the fridge. Keep it at room temperature. It's very important, as George says, if you're gonna cook chicken, it has to be at room temperature. So make sure it's at room temperature, and then we're gonna add our dry pancake batter onto the mix. So we'll be right back, folks, once this is chilled, and then I unchill it, and we'll proceed. Peace. All right, folks, now that we have uh, took in our chicken out for a couple of hours, it's room temperature, we're gonna add in the dry rub pancake batter. All right, so you can put it right inside the bowl, which is a great thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it around as I layer it. One time, move it around. Two time, move it around, get the bottom out. Make sure this is all covered. Pass it all around. And the great thing about this, you're gonna have it in one bowl, less mess. You're gonna wash your hands and then you're gonna distribute this into the frying pan, okay? Some people could use a bag, shake it all around. That's, that's cool too, but you know, you take your time with it, you know? Keep on adding the batter, a little more heavier. Move it all around. Move this around again. Move that again. Make sure every piece has the batter. Now the lime, all the seasoning will stick to the lime and so will this, this pancake batter will stick to the lime. So some people add an egg. You don't have to, to be honest with you. It's a lot cleaner and it'll stick, all right? So once this is done, we're gonna preheat our oil. You could use peanut oil. I'm a little sketchy about canola oil and how it's processed. Peanut oil is the best. Olive oil, as you know, we cannot deep fry with olive oil, but I've done a uh, hybrid of olive oil with corn oil, which works great. And we might do that today. Stay tuned, let's dig in, baby. Okay, now that we have our oil at about 375, you wanna place the chicken on the oil so it could cook. And you don't wanna overcrowd your pan because uh, you're gonna drop the temperature in oil and it's not gonna cook really fast or even. So you see how that is, uh, as George says, sizzling. I'm gonna put two more pieces in there. We're gonna fry them till they're golden. Flip them up. And we're gonna get a plate with paper towels so the paper towels will absorb the uh, 
rest of the oil that's in there. We'll be right back. All right, now that our fried chicken is ready, we're about to uh, just take it out. Look how these pieces come out. Man. This is what I prefer, the dry rub, instead of the, the wet pancake batter because the pancake batter will be completely indulged in here, but here you get pieces of it, which looks, man, I don't know what to tell you. Can't go over fried chicken, you know what I mean? Look at this, look at this, George. Come over here, smell this, George. Smell the vision. That looks beautiful, that look looks beautiful. That. Where's the salt? You don't need no salt, my man. You sure? don't need no salt. All right. we, we, there's All right. enough salt in here, trust me. All right. All right? We'll be back with a little plating after these messages. Hopefully one day we get sponsors. Please <laughs> like our like our videos. Thank you, subscribe. Alright guys, this is the last piece of chicken here. I don't know if you noticed, but there is hardly no grease in this paper. That's how you properly fry chicken. There's, it's not supposed to be greasy. You see that? Put that just in case and look how dry it is. Room temperature chicken, 375, 365, fried till it's golden, and boom, and that's it. Let's dig in Miami. So we're ready to plate. I tasted a piece already. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So let's go. Plates. Absolutely. Here you have your dry battered fried chicken, Caribbean seasoning. You have a little maple syrup here to dip in, and we're ready to taste. George, do the honors, my man. Look at that. That's beautiful. Ooh, still steaming. Come on, son. For real? Off the Wait. chain. Off the chain. Wait. Listen, this is not every day, but when you want to indulge, this is a great recipe. Very inexpensive. Remember, get organic chicken. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. This is season three, episode one, our dry battered fried chicken. Join us as we bring you some more recipes and some really good, good, good food. God bless. We're still in the pandemic, stay safe. This was a good one. This, this one was, was a good, good one. one. For real. See you guys later. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> I'm awful. It's the only way we feel. It's it's okay. To the churritas. You're gonna have your shoelaces. Where are you your shoelaces from? I'm gonna go down.